Welcome back from the long hiatus of AGP quickies. We're back in the saddle, ready to talk about the things that we love. Tyler and I are excited today. We're going to be talking all about Hogwarts Legacy. That's it. That's all we're talking about this episode. Do we like it? Do we hate it? And we're not going to get into any of the politics behind this. We're just going to talk about <laughs> what the game is. So without any further ado, uh, Tyler, I know you've beaten the game. I haven't yet. I'm about 20 hours in. What did you think about it? You finished it. Give us your thoughts. Um, so you want to start with the pros, right? Sure. Okay. So the pros was that it was amazing. Uh, no, but no, I, I loved it overall. There's definitely things that I think moving forward could improve. I loved like, I loved it, but like if if there's future DLC, I would love there to be future DLC and we could, you know, improve some things, right? But overall, like what I wanted from the game was to feel like I was in the Harry Potter world, right? Like I wanted to feel like my character was in that world and it was very immersive. And so like there's a lot of like cons, you know, that I could make a big list about, like you know, they could do this better. They could do this better. But, like, the big things overshadowed those things, like, immensely. Like, the big good things about it. Um, the characters were great. The story was great. The the world was great. Hogwarts Castle itself was, like, it was daunting to even, like, you know, try and, and explore it all, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and just all the little things I, I, you may have seen Max, I put on my Facebook account, a uh, video of, uh, running past some of the, the armor guys. And like, one of them is humming and the other one gets annoyed and like punches him, you know, there's just like a ton of like random stuff like that yeah. that happens all over Hogwarts, um, howlers being sent to students and them getting embarrassed, you know, all kinds of stuff. So for me, like that was the big thing. I wanted it to um, to be immersive, and and it was um, definitely for the most part. Um, and uh, the the one thing that I that wasn't immersive about it was the the houses. Like basically, the houses didn't mean anything. Um, you had a, you know, you had your common room that you'd like almost never go to. And then, you know, you have, um, your clothes, like when you get clothes that have like your house logo and your house colors on it, you know, that was, that was pretty much it. Like, you know, you, you know, I was, I was Gryffindor, so I was constantly getting gold and yellow stuff, <laughs> you know, but I mean, other than that, it, it, meant, it didn't mean anything, which which really hurts replayability, in my opinion. Like, I wanted to, like, be like, oh, I want to replay in this house, you know. But now I'm kind of like, eh, it doesn't matter that much. Like, it, I didn't do anything in my house, <laughs> you know. Yeah, like, the only replayability factor I'm currently seeing, other than the fact that it's just really fun, is right now I'm playing as a good wizard. And yeah. I can play again as, like, a bad wizard. Yeah. Um, now, I don't know how much that impacts the story. But I am curious to see what would happen if I was just a dick to everybody. Because right now <laughs> I'm being nice all the time. Except for there was like one interaction I had with this like side quest character. She was being like really pompous. And it gave me the option to basically tell her that she's being like um higher, like holier than thou. And so I took that option. But for the most part, I always like they take the, the I'm gonna be nice to you route. You know, yeah. I'm a Hufflepuff. Hufflepuffs are bubbly, nice people. I'm acting like a Hufflepuff. But I kind of want to do a second run as a Slytherin and just be like, I'm going to kill you all. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I, I'm going to just jump in here for a second and talk about one of the things that I, f I like and find interesting, but it's also a slight con. Um, I like the fact that it's not just, oh, you're a Slytherin, you're bad. Like in the in the books and in the movies. Now, the books have, have more nuance than the movies do. The movies are very much like you're Slytherin, you're a bad guy. Uh, whereas yeah. the books, there are like good people that are in the Slytherin house. But there is like a, a that is pretty common. If you're in Slytherin in the Hogwarts in the Harry Potter books, you're a bad guy. Um, that is not the case in the game at all. I mean, a lot of the characters I'm interacting with are Slytherins, and there's actually even a, a side quest that I, I won't like spoil, but it's like the whole thing is about these Slytherins that um 
one of them really is against getting into the dark arts. Like he does not want to do anything with the dark arts because he's so against it. And I just like finished that quest and it's, it's really cool. It's a really interesting quest. Well, I say I finished it. There's probably more to come onto it soon. Actually, I finished a portion of it. Um, oh, there's but, more to come, Max. Good. That's good. a very that's a very uh, that's a very good quest arc. It's very awesome. very good. Well, I'm excited about it. Um, but that leads me to like one slight criticism. Um, so I've seen some people pra praising this. They're saying, "I love how nice all the teachers are and how nice all the students are at Hogwarts in this game." Because in the books and in the movies, like so many of them were just mean. And I get why they like that. And I do too. Like, I, I like, I mean, I want the teachers for the most part to be nice. Like, I can't think of her name. Um, Professor Garlic. Like, she's just the sweet, redheaded, you know, herbology teacher. I love that she's nice and sweet. And I like that for the most part, the teachers are all nice, except for the headmaster. But in the books, I feel like, and in the movies, it's more realistic to like a high school, middle school experience. You're going to have some people that are just mean and nasty. And so you're going to sometimes have teachers that are kind of jerks. So I feel like that's actually something that is a strength in the books that people are praising as like a, as a pro here. But I don't agree. I don't think it's a pro. I think it's more a matter of, well, there's actually more depth in the books with more nuanced characters. Now, I'm not done with the game, though. Maybe there's more to come with mean um, students and teachers. But... That was kind of just like a thought I had that I haven't seen many people discuss. Well, and I think that some of the teachers are extra nice to you because you're a new student in your fifth year, right? Like, they're like, okay, like you're playing massive catch up, right? But then like, you don't really need it because you're kind of like, you know. What's OP. The, yeah. What's the male <laughs> version of a Mary Sue? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> You're like ridiculously powerful. Um, but you know, it's for the gameplay, like it's it's to make the combat fun, right? But um you're you know, like I that is some like another small criticism. Like I kind of wish there was less enemies, but more difficult enemies, you know. When I'm just like, okay, I'm a fifth year student, like, and this is my first year, and I'm just took out like 20 dark wizards all by myself. You know, like I'm kind of feeling like maybe, like maybe you should have just made them harder to beat, you know, and and not made so many of them. Like, yeah, I yeah. I mean, you you and I have have varying skill levels with games. Like, you will tend to put things on hard before I do, and I like to play on normal mode. Other than like one time when I accidentally walked off a cliff, and the couple times I failed a stealth mission, I've never died. Yeah, like once playing on normal, and. I've had a couple of close calls. I've had some times where it's like I was one more hit and I would have been dead, but I haven't died. And, I, and I've and i fought enemies that are like three, four levels above me. So that does make them more challenging. So I will yeah. say once you get a hang of the combat, it's pretty easy, mm -hmm. especially once you start using potions. I really appreciated the tips you were giving me while I was on <laughs> vacation. Like, yeah, yeah, use the focus and the maximum potion. I'm like, oh, yeah. And I like using Endurus too to help, you know, be more yeah. of a tank and, and uh, not take as much damage. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, dude, I, I am absolutely enthralled with the game. I was texting you at 2 AM this morning <laughs> saying, I wish I didn't have to go to bed and work because I just, <laughs> I didn't want to stop playing it. I wasn't tired and I just wanted to keep playing. I, man, it's so good. The open world, there's so much to do. I feel like the music is really good. Yeah. It's not John Williams, but they took inspiration from what Williams did. And it really feels like Harry Potter music. Uh, yeah, the combat's really fun. Collecting beasts is really cool. Like one little tip I'll give if you're just starting Hogwarts Legacy. If you want to do side quests, that's fine. Just don't get too deep into them until you have done um all the quests. Not all the quests in the game, but like up to a point when like once you get your hippogriff, then you can do your your side quests. So I'll just put it that way, which is a hefty amount of main quests. Like yeah. It's, it's probably a quarter of the way through the game, maybe more, but that's one piece of advice I'd give. Because otherwise, yeah. like, you don't have all the tools available. You can't do Alohomora. You're going to be locked behind doors. You won't have spells that you need to complete certain side quests. Like, uh, so, yeah, you, was, you won't uh, have a broom, potentially. I did a few side quests before I had a broom. Man, it takes a lot longer to traverse <laughs> the world on foot. Yeah. 
yeah, I, w I went through so much of the game without Alohomora because I was I did so many side quests first, and I just like left so many chat like oh, I'll come back to this town because uh, you know I don't have Alohomora yet. Um, but yeah, so so definitely I'm the same way. Loved it. It was just super addicting. That's why I'm done with it. You know the main story already. But um, yeah, so. I mean, there's just, I feel like the, the good things about it are just so good, but it's like, it's, a, it's like, I feel like it's a shorter list. You know, there's just like, there are a bunch of cons. Like there are some things that are, are, could be improved upon. Yeah. But like, like, I don't know how to expound on the things that are good. Like I want to, I want people to know, like this game is super, super good. Oh dude. So, I Totally. Totally. Well, cause like I'll, I'll give just, I wrote down four cons and there's probably a, a few others, but these are like kind of nitpicky except for maybe one of them. So one of my cons is there's like loading between areas. So it's like, you'll be standing at a door and the blue circle will just load for like two full seconds before you can go into the area. It's kind yeah. of a weird thing. I wish that like they could preload it before you got there. Again, that's nitpicky. Um, not enough gear slots. That's annoying as all crap. I hate well, you gotta how do the often Merlin quests. You I've been do doing Merlin quests. But like, <laughs> it is, I'm honestly, I'm about to go look for a mod so I don't have to deal with this crap. Cause it's like, I'll be exploring and doing missions. And now it's, it's annoying because I have to travel back to Hogsmeade and sell a bunch of my crap. Now I have a lot of galleons at this point because I keep selling my stuff, but it's annoying. Like, yes, I'm doing the Merlin quests and I've got more gear slots, but it's frustrating. Uh, not well, being able to pause cut scenes. That's annoying. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, especially being a dad, you know, you have to go get your kid and you're like, I can't pause this. I, I had that. They were like, there's a part of the game, obviously like it's, it's a little spoiler, but you do meet centaurs at one point. Right. But like you were, I missed that whole cutscene because I had to go get my kid. You know, I couldn't pause it. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. It's, that's really, that was really weird. Like I just played for spoken, which sucks in comparison to Hogwarts legacy. But I could pause the cutscenes, and that came in handy. Yeah. So that that's well, just like minor gripe. Yeah. One one thing that is a major thing for me is that the combat was not difficult enough. Like you know, I was I was maybe a quarter of the way through the game, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna turn this on hard now. And then I, I turned it on hard, and it was moderately harder for you know until I got used to it. After it didn't take very long. And then I was just like, this game is way too easy. And I was like purposefully trying to fight enemies that were higher level than me. And uh, yeah, it was just like, I, this is not a challenge at all. Even like the end boss, I was like, this was like, you know, I had like almost all my potions left. <laughs> you know? Oh, like, wow. That's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, but, but like I say, there are some cons, but overall this game is fantastic um and um you know there's a couple little things the the little loading issue that you had like i had that there were like maybe two doors in hogwarts that had maybe took like a second to load on ps5 um so i didn't really have that problem oh you like, played on ps5 i just assumed yeah. you played on series x no no i, I well because like, they had the extra mission on ps5 so uh, uh yeah i don't get that yeah. on pc but I am enjoying the performance on it. It's running really well. I, I do do love it. I hope they make a sequel to this so bad. Like, it's just, I, I loved it, man. Give me more in this universe as video games. I'd like to see them expound. Like, I like if they do a sequel, I'd like to see what you talked about with the houses. Like, make the houses more unique. Give us a reason to replay the game. Um. You know, I wish there were like I, I've heard that there are some specific quest lines for your house, but like it's only like one quest and it's not like a big deal. So it would be nice if there was more that mattered. Yeah, yeah. Well, smash the like button if you want to see DLC for this game. Absolutely. Well, this is supposed to be a quickie, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode of AGP Quickies, where. There's always time for a quickie.